Hi, and welcome to the Paddle Wheel Podcast um, for Rising Star. Today we are on location at Paul's of Dearborn County, our um, close to us animal shelter, and we have a very special guest, Brenda, who's our director here at Paws, and Marvin, uh, one of our adoptable dogs right now. So Brenda, tell us a little bit about Paws. So Paws is an animal shelter. Um, we have taken lost, strays, owner surrender, dogs and cats um, from the community. Um, we also um, we're um, helping, we try to help other shelters, we try to help other communities, um, but that's basically what we do on the nutshell. So, um, you might be wondering how Rising Star comes into play here. Um, we are all about the community and we are the community. Um, so a lot of our employees um, support Paul's in many ways. Um, a couple of us sit on the board, um, we just had Mark come in, um, one did. of our staff members, to help us with our website and any other technical needs we have. So it's about getting that expertise and time in here. Um, a lot of volunteer hours. Yeah, every, everybody that volunteers, um, it means so much. And that's what we're about at Rising Star, is just working with the communities and doing what we can. Um, I know one of the programs Brenda and I talked about a little bit before was our community cat program here at Paws and um, we spay and neuter stray cats um, and she's been very very fortunate to receive grants and other ways to help that we're able to reach out to other counties. I know you've reached out to a few more. We have. We have been um, actually um, which brings us into the cat cafe. Yeah. Um, we. Believe it or not, I know when we joined that, when we were asked to join that um, a few years ago, um, I was told that we would not have enough cats, and we certainly do not. Um, so we've had to reach out and help other shelters, because um, at the end of the day, it's about the cats, um, not just paws. Um, so we are fortunate um, that we do have a way to go and it's kind of nice to be able to help the other shelters. Absolutely. Especially when you've got um, cats that have been sitting in shelters six, nine months and we're able to funnel them through um, and find them a home, you know, within a week or two. So um, that's a big program. We actually do do the community cat program mm -hmm. about spaying and neutering. Um, because you know, as much as we love the little kittens, there's just too many of them. Yes. So yes. we try to get at the top of the scale with that. Yeah. So yes, that's another program that we do. But um, at the end of the day, it is about volunteering, all the volunteers that come and help us. Um, we just couldn't do it without them. You know, I mean, all the money and so, yes. They're like, what else can volunteers we do? do? We do, um, right now we are getting new kennels built so we can always use dog walkers. We don't have the kennels available, all the kennels available to us that we um, need. So we have dog walkers. Um, they're always needed, but you know, we just have so many other, um, working on the front desk. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we just have a lot of, uh, um, we have a store here. Um, Linda can always use help with the store. Um, just any, pretty well anything you want. You want to come and mow the lawn, you can mow the lawn. <laughs> you want to work out in the garden, you can work out in the garden. If you want to just come and clean, we have people that just want to come and clean, we have that. Um, I like to always say whatever your interest is, if you want to just come and socialize animals, you can come and socialize animals. Um, one thing I did want to bring up, um, we are getting ready to come into the kitten season and we are um, trying to grow our foster program. So um, you don't need, you know, you come down, you uh, get some kittens, take them home, let them socialize them, let them grow, get um, big enough, and we try to find them a home. So um, we uh, definitely are, are going to be needing a lot of fosters. If uh, what's going on right now is any indication, we already have kittens out in foster, and we yeah. don't usually have them this early. Mm -hmm. So um, that's a, um, something else that we're trying to do. We just had puppies. Somebody on the board ended up, um, God love her, um, took all these puppies home. There were um, nine of them, 10 of them. And she um, 
foster them at her house so they weren't in the shelter for about a month. Um, and we finally, I think they, it was last week, they were all adopted. So okay. we're always looking for that. So yeah, that's another great way that you can do. But if you just want to just kind of look out on our Facebook, yep. um, one of our ways um, that we try to communicate, we communicate with the people, we'll let you know about that. You can sign up for that, go to the website, volunteer, same thing. There's applications yep. and stuff for that. Yep. So the Facebook page is Paws of Dearborn County and the website is www.pawsofdearborncounty.org. Um, all the information you need, you can find mm -hmm. there. And um, the adoptable dogs are all on yeah. there. I want to say we have close to 40 dogs right now. Um, the adoptable cats are on there. Um, maybe we've got about 20 cats out there. We did have one kitten. She went out the door today. Um, but uh, yes, that's um, another way that you can do. Yep. Um, I do like to tell people if you are looking for kittens and stuff, generally we do surgeries on Tuesdays, so Wednesday we'll put out whatever um, we is now available for adoption. Actually, that's what Marvin, he was um, just uh, done yesterday. He's ready for adoption, looking for a home. Three years old, um, kind of, I asked him, okay, what it, what is he, Airedale? Airedale, Snoodle, that's what, that's what Robin thought, um, yeah. about three years old, Dr. Kemper said, so um, he's up for adoption, yeah. um, he's and now available. He said after surgery, no one goes out unless they're spay or neutered. Right? Absolutely, right. nobody goes out not spay and neutered. Um, it's, uh, we've started that, um, it definitely, we don't want any more babies here. No. no. <laughs> what, do you, what do you require from your volunteers when they come to the shelter? Um, it depends on what they want to do. Generally, um, when you volunteer, we do ask that you put an application in. Um, Tammy, who's our, uh, uh, our coordinator volunteer, she will reach out, talk to you. Um, we do like to find out what you want to do, hours you want to do, tell you a little bit about everything. Some people have been down here, some have not. And our goal has always been to let you come and do what you really want to do. Um, that's the best way to get volunteers back. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all it is. You come down. We do have an age requirement. Um, you have to um, be... <laughs> I know he's running around doing his own little thing, isn't he? God love him, making it his room. Um, you have to at least be 16 years old. Um, to walk the dogs, you do have to be 18 years old. Um, but yes, we want you to come down. We'll talk to you, you know, um, take you around. And depending on what you want to do, what hours you want to do, we will hook you up with, you know, somebody to walk you through it. And then, you know, actually we've got a dog walker out here that we always like to talk about. He's been here for years. He comes in, does his own thing, and, mm -hmm. you know, so yes, we have some beautiful grounds, beautiful paths that Absolutely. you can take off with the dogs, go down the street, we don't care, but yes, whatever you want to do. Yes, you do have to have an ID. You have to be within um, Dearborn County. Um, obviously, we do take them out of county if space um, provides it, if we do have the space for it. Um, but, you know, um, most of the time it's just Dearborn County. Unfortunately, we, you know, we've been pretty full um, for the last few months. But um, I think you guys are also really good about pointing out the resources that are available. We, we do. We animal. will send places, um, people, you know, different places. We do, we do have a lot of contacts. We're in with a lot of rescues. Um, so we're able to do that. Sometimes, you know, we might be able to take them in if you just hold on to them for a little bit. Um, we do that a lot with the cats. Um, we're able to do that, but um, yes, we, you know, but generally it's for Dearborn County is, is what we do. So you're also looking for donations from people and that would include monetary because you want to expand and do things with your grounds and with the building. Can you touch on that? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, we are always looking for donations. We um, obviously it takes a lot to run a place, um, and I I know a lot of people think we make a lot of money on the animals, but we don't. Not right. compared to what we put in. Prices going up, taking care of the animals, etc. But um, we are always. Um, I know the community cat program. We try to do it as low as possible. Um, and there's a lot of people that obviously cannot afford to bring in, but we want to get them done, help everybody. So yes, we do try to um, do as much fundraising as we can for yes. everything um, that we do have going on around here. 
And on the website, there is a donut, donate button. There are um, donates. Mm -hmm. And then also on the website, if you don't want to contribute just cash, um, we have our wish list for things that the animals might need. Um, we do. We have a wish list um, at Amazon you can go to. We also have one at Chewy if you want to donate. Um, I will have to say that I would like to thank the community, take this because whenever we ask for something, they more than give us whatever we need. We ask for funding for medical for the dogs. Um, our audience is really, um, really generous. We ask for peanut butter. I can tell you we'll get two years worth. <laughs> you know, we ask for blankets, we get two years. So I do want to thank everybody for that. They're very responsive with that, but um, yes. Um, we do ask that you make sure somebody's going to be down here. We can help you get it in. If it's furniture, we definitely need to make sure we can get, get yeah. somebody down here to help you move it and stuff like that. But you're more than welcome to drop stuff off. Um, we're open 12 to 4 every day except Tuesday. Yep. And Tuesday generally, that's kind of the big cleanup. This day we do surgery. But um, yeah, you're more than welcome to bring anything down like that. Um, people are, we always, we do have a community. Um, we've been trying to help the community with um, their dogs and cats, feeding them. There's a lot of people that's had that need. So we do have a food pantry um, that we've been very um, lucky to have people donate to. Um, we have some companies donating it to. So, you know, if people do need help, you know, it, we would rather them keep their dogs or their, you know, their cats or pets so we can help them in that way. Um, we do have some people that we've been doing it for a while and that's fine with us. You know, we understand the circumstances and like I said, so many from the people being so generous, we've been able to um, have this program going from c companies also. Yes. We are located down at 200 Charles A. Lytle, um, Lawrenceburg, Indiana. Um, zip code 47025. Um, our phone number is 812-577-0829. Um, if you have any questions, you want to talk to somebody, have any concerns, something you can't find on the site, just um, give us a call. Somebody would be happy to talk to you.